Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay and I love to share DIY projects, um, thrifty finds, uh, just all kinds of things here on my channel. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you're notified. I am uploading new videos every week. So I just want to make sure that you don't miss any of them. So today I'm going to do kind of a kind of a mix of content. So I always like to share, I, I share my thrifted hauls here on my page, but then to also show you how I use those thrifted finds or why I pick them up and how they come together, how I use them in our home, how I use them in something like I'm going to show you today. Um, but it'll also help you um, think about the things that you should be looking for at thrift stores uh, that you can maybe use to gift in something like this. So with that, I miss our kids being young uh, around Halloween time. I've said it here before, but we used to host Halloween every year. Um, my family, my sister, her kids, her husband, my parents, they would all come over. I would cook a meal and then um, we would head out and go trick-or-treating together. Um, obviously our kids are much older now and we don't do that anymore. But another thing we used to do is we used to boo their friends every year. So we would put together, you know, cute little I don't, treat bags or little gift bags or, you know, just whatever. And then we would go and put it on their friend's doorstop uh, or front step and then you'd knock and then you run away or you try to get away so they don't know who it came from. So I loved doing that stuff when they were growing up. I loved putting together little class classroom like gifts and things for their little friends at Valentine's Day and Halloween and Easter and all those things. I am really missing that this year. And so I thought, you know what? I don't have to have little tiny kids to do this. So I am putting together some um, little baskets for some friends and I'm going to boo some of my friends. So I just thought I'm trying to put together stuff that I have already had on hand, stuff that I knew I was going to gift um, at some point, And then this just idea came together. I am also, I put together 25 ideas for something like this ho adult Halloween uh, uh, basket ideas for booing your friends as an adult. I put together 25 ideas. So I'm going to leave the link to that post with this video because I just think it's super fun. I just think this is super fun. I don't think we do this enough. It's, it's just, let's, let's do this more often. When I'm giving, I like to give. Like I just, I really do. And this does not have to cost a lot of money. And I'm going to show you how and, um, and what I'm doing. So first of all, you need some kind of container and I'm just going to put together one here for this video. So I'm not going to drag this on. Um, so at the thrift store, I am constantly looking for gift baskets or, you know, like pails or, you know, anything like that, that I can use and stack in my gift closet. I have, I pick up that stuff all the time. And these were actually, I don't know if this was Walmart or I don't know, Michael's or something, but these were actually Easter baskets. The regular price was $5.88 and I got them for $1.88. I had a few of these. Gabrielle has used, this is the last one I have of this. She has used the rest of them for friends' gifts for their birthdays. So um, I have this and I'm going to use this uh, for this today. So always look for gift baskets and those kinds of things at your thrift stores. You can usually find them really inexpensive and so um, it's always something great to pick up because you can use them all year round. And you sometimes we, um, you know, things come up where you have to put together a gift quick and so having this stuff on hand is, um, is nice. I'm seeing that I still have flour on my sleeve so just bear with me. I did a little baking for this, for this. So, um, if you watch my thrifted hauls, you know that I got these, I'm going to say this wrong, Lay Crusset or Lay, the fancy expensive brand. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I found four of these. They were brand new. So what I did was I just made a batch of pumpkin bread. I am somebody, side note, I do not, I don't drink coffee. So I don't like pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin pie. I don't like, um, give me something else that pumpkin-y that a lot of people like. I don't like any of that stuff, but pumpkin bread. Yes, I can get down with some pumpkin bread. But anyway, so I found these brand new. Uh, and so I made four, I, I made a batch of pumpkin bread and I put um, some of it in all four of these and I'm just wrapping them up with a little baker's twine, a little plastic wrap, and I'm gonna add that to my basket. Um, okay, so 
where did I, okay, so I'm just gonna first throw in some tissue paper that I actually got, just got at a gift shop. I bought a candle. Uh, and so I'm like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Perfect for Halloween or fall. And you can do this for Halloween or fall. It doesn't have to be Halloween, but it just kind of goes with the whole booing thing that we used to do. And I just miss doing that. So um, that's where this idea came from. So there we go. I'm just gonna add some tissue paper. You can also add, so you're not having to fill like a large basket, you can add some, you know, like the crinkle, crinkle gift um, for like gift bags and things, you can add that inside. Um, you don't have to fill a basket, don't think that. There's There are ways to work around it. Okay, and so I am also going to add, I shared these with you, I actually shared the fall towels that I got. These are my favorite towels. I will leave a link uh, for these as well in the description of this video. I have a coupon code with them. You will never buy a washcloth or a towel from anywhere else again once you get these. They are amazing. The bad thing about them is that they have the most amazing designs and they come out with new ones all the time. So trying to pick just a couple is so hard. Um, but I did get some Halloween ones so that I could do this uh, for my friends. So I'm gonna add one of those inside this basket. And then, uh, you know, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. So if you saw my thrifted haul, I found these little mugs. And so if you are like Bath and Body Works, if you are a member, you always get free perks. And so I always pick them up. Whenever they show up, I go and get them. Because again, I keep them in a gift closet so that when I have to put a gift together or want to put a gift together, I have kind of a stash of things that are um, that are ready to go. I actually could have grabbed a candle, but I, I don't have a candle. Since this one is a ghost, I'm gonna go with the ghost. So I am just going to set this little, this is a hand cream, right? Yes, <laughs> this is just a hand cream. I'm just gonna set him in here as well. Would you love to get this at your door? Like a little boo basket? I, I get excited to do this. So I'm gonna also add in my little pumpkin bread. I'm just gonna try and set it in there nicely so that it doesn't get smashed. And then um, something that I'm always looking out for um, at thrift stores, I, I love to go through the books. I love to go through the books. And so I'm always picking up books. And I love to listen to true crime podcasts. And Ashley Flowers, actually, she runs the um, Crime Junkie podcast. I've listened to it forever. And she just came out with her fir first book. What are the odds? This book is brand new. It is brand new. What are the odds that I would find it at a thrift store? I did. <laughs> I've read it. And now I'm ready to pass it on. And it's kind of like this mystery you know, so it's perfect for Halloween. So I'm gonna add that as well. I love to, I, I will always thrift for books and then I love to pass them on um, to family and friends. So, uh, so this is perfect. Another thing you could add, do you get a subscription to a magazine? Um, this one's kind of special because I'm actually in this magazine. A project of mine is in this magazine. But this is another great idea. If you get a subscription already, when you're done with it, put it in a basket like this. You can always go out and buy a new magazine as well. Um, but I love, I love to look through magazines. So this is always a good choice. Okay, this is all I'm gonna do. This is all I'm gonna do for this one. I will obviously cut this tag off. <laughs> and then you can leave a little note or just you know write to your friend, you've been booed, you don't have to put your name on it, or you can, whatever you wanna do. Um, but I just wanted to show you some other ideas. So these knives are so great for, do you, if you like sourdough or for cutting bread, I found this brand new one at a thrift store. And so it's been in my gift closet, but it's a, a great, add a, a sourdough loaf. If you don't make it, um, go to your local bakery and if, and grab a loaf and then give that with this, that could be something inside one of these baskets. Um, or give them a sourdough starter. Uh, if you're somebody that has really thought about trying to do that, um, maybe this could get them started. Another thing is buy a big container of like mixed nuts or trail mix or make your own 
And then you can always, you know, you can get fancy bags, but I just wanted to show you, it doesn't have to be. Roll them up like this in, a, in just like a Ziploc bag or if you have the snack size. And then, did I not bring it over here? <laughs> I thought, okay, and then add a ribbon or twine around it, just like that. And then I pick up things like this at the thrift store all the time. Again, it just goes in my gift closet so that I always have them. And then you can just do something like this and add that into a basket. Um, thrift stores are right now full of pumpkins of all shapes and all sizes. Just a little decorative pumpkin um, you know, something small that would fit in your small basket that they can set on their table, set on an end table. That's a great idea. And then lastly, I'm just going to show you this quick so that do you remember this wood. Um, this is a garland with all these wood jack-o'-lanterns, which I just love this thing. But each one of these, of course, it's all tangled, so I'm not going to... But each one of these you could take off and it could be its own little gift tag, gift tag kind of, on your basket, on your blue basket. So when you're at the thrift store, look for things like this where one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there are nine of them on here. So it's like you could make nine different baskets or little just bags. You could just use gift bags, little brown gift bags for something like this as well. If you're like me and you're missing doing this kind of stuff for like your child's classroom or their friends, do these for the teachers. They still enjoy to get them. Uh, your teenager might not wanna walk in the school with them, so you may have to drop them off. But that's just another idea um, for all the amazing teachers that are with our kids every day, <laughs> right? So that's it. I just wanted to grab a few other ideas to kind of get your mind going and thinking, but I'm doing it this year. I'm not... I'm going to still enjoy this little season and I'm going to gift these away. Uh, I'll put three more. They're not going to look the same. Like I said, I ha I don't have another basket like this, but I have a little galvanized tub and I've got some bags and things that I can use. But I have three more little pumpkin breads to put to kind of tie up and put together. But I will be passing these out tonight or tomorrow and I'm super excited about it. So still do this stuff. This stuff is fun. It's um, and this would be especially us, you know, kids are always getting little things, but like as moms, we're busy. Um, you know, your friend that you've been thinking about or that you just, you try to get together all the time and something comes up and you can't do it or just put something together, something simple. It doesn't have to be extravagant. It's just the thought that matters. So, um, so yeah, as you can tell, I'm super excited about this, but again, I'm going to leave a link. I have 25 ideas to get you thinking, um, for boo basket ideas for your friends, for adults. Um, and then also I will leave the, I don't know if I shared the Halloween ones I got. I will leave the coupon code for these amazing towels. And like I said, you can get the washcloths too. The washcloths come in a pack of, is it four? You'd have to look. But then if you think about it, that could be four gifts, right? In one. So, uh, so yeah, they have like the smaller towels too. There's so many options, but aren't these super fun? I got them for this exact thing. I said, I am doing it this year. I am putting together these baskets and I'm going to continue to boo some people. So I hope this was fun. I hope this was helpful. I'd love to know if you do it, take a photo, uh, tag me on Instagram at my creative days. I would love to see that maybe this inspired you to do this as well. Again, it doesn't have to be um, expensive or extravagant. Um, it's a thought that that counts. So definitely check the description for all the other links and things um, and the more ideas. And until next time, I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you very soon.